so like always, we prepare the parts Here's a clear blue thing. Nice color though. I'm going to prepare all these parts um, before I put them together. See how it comes out. <coughs> Excuse me if my voice sounds a little harsh. <coughs> the change of weather has affected me a bit. I had to take some uh, medication. More like anti-allergies type things. Um, they'll, they'll come to a point where eventually you'll hear some background noise and it's usually my AC unit. Um, it used to be the AC unit was behind this board that you see here. But since I moved everything around it's now to the left. So at least everything kind of like circulates a lot better now. I am uh, anticipating it will be a very, very warm summer. <laughs> or hot summer, however you want to call it. We're going to put the charcoal parts here. And I think we're going to start working on the red parts. I'll put it on this guy because it's a much more <coughs> wider base. Paper clippers and um, remove them. As always, I'm I'm not doing this close to the part. I always I'm just going to remove a bit a, a little bit off and then just remove it, you know, piece by piece until no no uh, scar marks or scratches are showing. Just recently watched episode three of Gundam Origins, um, which was very nice. Uh, I liked the episode. Not many uh, mech combat other than the um, than the uh, um, prototype. Um, what do you call that? I think it was the WAF, W A F F. And then there was a scene of the mobile, one of the mobile workers, but. We didn't see a lot of, um, you know, mobile suits there. Unlike episode one, where they showed um, Tristar um, Zaku's and, of course, Char Zaku. And, of course, the gun tank. The early gun tank. I should work on that. I really think I, it would be a nice idea to try. And then, <clears throat> even though they didn't show no preview for um, the next episode, there's a picture floating about of uh, a poster with Char, Lala, and um, a or, um, Zaku One in Char's colors. I'm surprised that for years we never seen Gun uh, Bandai make a uh you know a what if scenario of what you know what what if they made a, a char version of the um of the zaku one clearly someone must have already painted that idea and uh it's out there somewhere but it was never official so now we're going to see it <clears throat> officially coming out of course you don't have to wait until it comes out you can actually take a, an existing um, high grade version, even the uh, the original master grade, and paint it uh, as char colors. But like all new kits, it'll come with new um, detailing and and uh, uh, what do you call it markings to represent the series. So it'll be a worthwhile purchase when it does come out. Once Banda announces it. All right, so I've separated all the colors. There's all the red. Here's all the charcoal, which will make up the inner frame, which I'll build in a moment. Here's the lighter charcoal colors, plus the darker, blacker colors-ish. 
Now I'm looking into the light, it's a little bluish, but I'm making it black either way. The white and the the clear parts, which I'm keeping it on the frame, um, since I'm not going to get to that in a moment. Also I'm keeping on the frame is the swords, since I'm not going to work on those now. Give me, let me just concentrate on a few things before we proceed. Um, so here it is, I'm going to begin cleaning them up, and then I'm going to work on the inner frame. Okay, so, here are all the parts that make up the torso. During the course of the build, of course, there will be parts that will be removed. Obviously, these umbilicals and all that stuff, but I want to at least show it off how it looks before, you know, I begin painting. I've already pre-assembled these little parts here, which is part of the hydraulic system. We'll cover that in a moment. So, we have this little guy here, which I believe is the part of the neck. And then this one, there's a gap here, this section here is a little longer, or a little wider than this one, which is a little narrow, so you want to stick it here. This will be removed, obviously, when it's painted, it'll be put on, and hopefully it will stay on like the uh, other kit that I made, the 100 scale Barbados. So, put that here, and we take two of the poly caps, stick one here, and the other here. So it looks like that. Um, put this to the side. We take this part here. Then we take the two little parts that look like a hydraul um, the other ends of the hydraulics. Stick that in like so. Followed by this very big poly cap. That goes in like that. Then, if I'm seeing it correctly, you have to flip this around. I don't know why the manual tells you to do that. Oh, it tells you to do that so you can, yeah, take this. Then slide the hole here. Put that in there. And then slide the hole here. Put that in here, like that. All right. Good. At least I can remove this without worrying about it. And this one has a hydraulic gimmick, as you see there. But there's more to this. We need this guy that goes here, which seals up this. Alright, I don't have to worry about nothing I have to remove. Fair enough. Then come around here. Take this part. No, correction, this part. Put that. Gotta see how it looks. Oh. Okay. That goes here and that goes there. And then this one goes here and this one goes there. And then you take these two little parts here to cover it up. I haven't sanded these two parts yet, so give me some time. I just want to at least show this off. So it looks like that. That's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. I had to sand the uh, seam line off the umbilical uh, part so it could show off a lot better. Now then, we take this part followed by this that has to be in this position and then close it up like so do the same thing with this close that up like so and then I'm saying this correctly, you have this part here that there's a guide inside the notch, so you slide it in like so, and then you can turn it. This is actually a very, very interesting, unique looking way of, a, a unique mechanism, locking mechanism. So it actually, you can actually keep these two parts together. And the seam line is thick enough here to be part of the design, so you don't have to worry about sanding it down. So that's a good thing, I believe. 
and then while it's like that you snap that in here I guess interesting snap it in there but this can okay even though that will turn out it's not this actually yeah it's locked into place like so okay fair enough all right that's uh, that completes the waste unit <laughs> excuse me the torso unit um i guess i guess the armored part goes on here and armored parts go under there and then obviously the head goes here and this is the rear portion of the suit which is pretty nice yeah pretty cool i like that and at least I don't have to worry about masking this off. I can actually remove these so I can paint the umbilicals for these two and this one. So, alright, this part is complete. Let's now try the, let's look at the next parts. Ooh, I almost forgot about the head. So, well, there's very few parts here. I should have done this quickly. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to take this little guy right here. And this clear part, which says here to put a, before you put it on, you can put a uh, sticker on it, which is, hang on a second. Actually, it's a choice. Come on. Yikes. No, oh, it's upwards. That's right. So I can put a ref the reflective sticker that's on this, either on top of the clear part, or inside the clear part. I will do neither. Alright, so we have that there, followed by this part that goes here. Not a polycap. Then you have this ball joint, this ball, excuse me, which is the, the sensor eye, with a gold part that slides in this way. And then you stick it in here. Doesn't say what orientation it is, but I'll keep it the, the way I think it's supposed to be. Then put this part here to close into place, like so. And then we have this part, which is connects to the neck joint. And we have that here, like so. This thing can be positioned and moved anywhere you like. It's kind of cool. If I decide to keep this in there, which I think I will, I'm going to take a uh, masking tape to cover this up before I paint. Alright, so this part is complete. Let's continue on. 